Hey guys, want to know if you can start dropshipping with $200 in 2019? Let's find out. Hi guys, so can you uh, actually start a dropshipping business with only $200? The answer is yes. Okay, but before we get further into this, I just wanted to say don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my video and hit the notification bell. Comment down below if you like today's video just saying yes. All right, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG. All right, so I get this question asked a lot and um, I'm trying to answer these questions with more beginner friendly videos to help people. Um, and you can definitely start it, okay? Uh, it just means that you're gonna to have to use a different strategy to what I normally recommend. Um, but basically you need a 14 day free trial of Shopify, which is just $29 a month after the fact. Um, but after using my past videos, I suggest going to watch them. Plus this, you'll be able to start getting sales pretty quick. You do need a domain, okay? Um, and it's 99 cents uh, a year using GoDaddy. It has to be your first account, okay? Like your first domain you buy in that account, it's really important. Um, obviously you do need an email, but just start out with like a Gmail or Outlook. Most people start with a Gmail for your customer service, okay? But once you start getting sales, obviously you want to look more professional, so you definitely want a business email, which you can get through G Suite, which is five, uh, five six bucks a month, okay? Really nothing. But you do need these essential apps. Oblo is uh, by default installed for free, um, at 50 orders a month for free. Um, and then, um, you know, there's other stuff down the line, then they charge. Free shipping bar, you want your free shipping bar. Um, it's 100% free just to say, you know, free shipping on all orders, uh, free shipping worldwide today, sorry. Um, it, because I use a free shipping model, or if you're not using that, it's a method to try and increase your average order value, which is important, especially starting out. You wanna do everything you can as cheaply as possible to increase this. Uh, reconvert, okay guys, um, most people don't talk about it, but again, Reconvert's a really good app that uh, modifies your thank you page, okay? Um, and the thank you page is when you get customers. It, literally, you just set up the template. As they said, it takes five minutes. It's free for 50 orders a month. Um, and the whole goal of that is to get repeat customers, okay guys? I always emphasize on repeat customers is is far more important than just continually driving new customers, even at the start. Clavio is free for 500 email subscribers. Okay, you want Clavio for mainly two things, your newsletter sign up and your abandoned cart. You're, um, because mainly your abandoned cart and you want to integrate it. I have videos on that, go and watch them. Um, but you want to use Clavio for the abandoned cart sequence because uh, what it will do is it's going to help get a lot of people that uh, indecisive or, or whatever reason didn't finish their order to come back and buy completely free right it's really important that you do that right don't forget remarketing best currency converter you just want to run it in free mode basically uh for it so that if you're targeting multiple countries which most of you are then uh people can change the currency it helps with your conversion rates really important sms bump um is a pay yg program but it does have 30 cents to start with um I do recommend using SMS Bump because by far it has uh, helped to increase the amount of return customers I've gotten hugely uh, as, as cheap as possible. So I definitely recommend that. Wheelio in your 14, 14 day free trial, at least um, at least use the, the free trial that it has. Um, again, it takes five minutes to set up. I have videos on that, go and watch them. The Conversion Pirate Checkout Hack, it's 100% free. Just literally Google Conversion Pirate Checkout Hack um, and put that in your checkout, okay guys, to help with your conversions. Use the free theme of Brooklyn, okay? Brooklyn as your free theme. Um, you don't need a paid theme, I don't really need, you don't really need paid themes. Uh, Brooklyn works perfectly fine. If you look at the top end uh, drop shipping stores, you'll actually notice that most of them are probably using Brooklyn because uh, Brooklyn works fine. And watch my past videos for how to optimize your product pages. Okay, guys, go watch that there. Your marketing tools is you want to use the Facebook search, like get yours here and then the, whatever the niche is. Simple as that. You want the Commerce Inspector Chrome extension. Um, it's it's completely free. Just literally Google it. Um, it helps you to look at stores closely and actually help find uh, winning products that you can test. Use this website URL here. It actually shows you um, hundreds of successful dropshipping stores where you can steal ideas from, uh, steal product ideas from, 
and uh, and use it for your own marketing. Um, you want to always, uh, most people don't do this, but you subscribe to people's newsletters, go to their websites, whatever, and just subscribe to the newsletter. Who cares if you get flooded with emails? It's email marketing. They're, they're gonna send you other winning products completely for free just to your mailbox. Okay, guys, there's no reason to not do it. Go to their checkout um, on their websites, add a product to your cart, go to their checkout and leave. You're gonna get remarketed. You're gonna you're gonna then feed your Facebook full of uh, winning products, right? It's that simple. Now, I do recommend, um, this seems to be the thing, influencer marketing. People really like influencer marketing, although it's becoming very difficult in many regards. Um, but there's still a lot of opportunity. You just want to find pages with 250k minimum followers. Um, that means that they have the swipe up feature, like for stories and stuff. Um, you want, but you want to look at their engagement on flanks.com, their engagement calculator. They want at least two percent engagement. You are going to have to DM a number of them. Um, uh, you're just going to have to get used to using the Instagram search, okay? And just put in. You're just going to have to have a look at heaps of them. It's it's it's, it's tedious. But it, it's what you'll have to do, okay? Especially starting out. And um, so you find them, they'll usually have in their profile, you know, DM for for um, for collaboration and, or they'll have an email there or something, right? And so you want, you want to use flashy headlines because especially if they have 250K followers, they're going to be getting a lot of messages. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to put like paid shout out in the, the email title. Just use copy and paste because you don't want to spend forever and just change the name of the Instagram page um, so that they see it and that they actually respond. Once you get that first response, then you've opened the engagement because that's that's one of the things with uh, Instagram influencers. You're going to need to message about 10 to 20 of them that meet that criteria because about one in five actually respond, I've found. So, you know, let's say you message 20, about four will respond, all right? Okay, so you want to ask for a story post plus page post for four hours. So you have the swipe up plus bio link. So um, basically, you want to do it for four hours rather than 24 hours because it's far cheaper for you. Okay, so let's say they, they're going to charge $50. It'll go from $50. Maybe you can get it down to, to $30. Okay, and so all of a sudden you can um, you can test more, right? That's really important. And uh, always try and ask and negotiate for the swipe up feature um, and say to them, you know, this is a long term plan that I have in place that I want to do more and more with you and it will incentivize them to the first time to give you a special price so that you can test it cheaper. All right, guys, always incentivize them to give you a better deal. Um, and as I've pretty much said there and ask what time is best for their audience. So you just always want to ask what time works best for their audience, um, and that's important because you don't want to post to someone that their audience is in Australia and post at 3 a.m. in the morning and it's a four-hour shout-out. Okay, that that's going to hurt. You want to do it at times at around three to four. Uh, I mean, it depends on the influencer, of course, but it's statistically and specifically speaking, mostly around 3 to 4 p.m. in the afternoon when people are finishing work and and uh, things like that. That's when it works really well, especially for women's niche, because especially like, you know, let's say stay-at-home moms or that, they're going, they picked up the kids in their home and, and that's sort of that, an ample time, right? Um, and with the four hours, then it goes sort of into the late of night where you have a good opportunity to cover those bases, all right? So that's pretty much it. But I also recommend as well that it doesn't just end there. Um, many don't recommend using Facebook for 200 bucks, and that's why most do influencer marketing, um, because, but it's a gamble regardless, let's be honest. But it's really important that people forget that remarketing is where you're gonna find most of your money. Okay, so what you want to do is once you get, if you're using the same product across multiple and you're stuck in sales, you immediately want to set up DPA remarketing because they're going to be going to your website and, and most people leave. That's that's a fact. There's no denying that. So you set up DPA ads to just capture that info and just remarket to them on like a three dollar budget. Okay, if you strap the cash, three dollar budget, and that'll get you one or two sales a day, just getting people coming back. You just incentivize them, go watch my videos. And if you're starting to find sales of that specific product that you've been using for influencers, then you're gonna use that influencer again, as well as you wanna do uh, custom audience remarketing for that specific product, okay? And that, that's what you wanna do. 
um, because you, as what most people are going to do, think of it like yourself, they're window shoppers. Okay, if you've ever been to a marketplace, which I'm sure nearly every one of us have, then you'll you'll walk past and you'll look at most places. Okay, think of it like this: you're in a marketplace, you're walking past 99% of places. Think of the the equivalent of Facebook: you walk past 99%. Every now and again, you're going to actually turn into one of those places, and in this case, it would be actually going to your store, and you're going to have a look, uh, and you're just going to window shop, and you're going to leave. But then there's going to be people that. Uh, go that extra degree of actually picking up an item and looking at it and contemplating it and then leave and so remarketing is where most of the money's at so even if you're on $200 and you're using influencers and at this point you've pretty much used nothing because you're all on trials and just using it for influencer shout outs you've used let's say $100 then you want to set up a couple of ads and spend five ten dollars a day max just on trying to get people back because that's where you're actually going to either break even or start really making money all right it's really important um, and then your advanced is, you know, influencer marketing is not a long-term goal. Okay, I'm going to be perfectly honest. It's not a long-term thing. Uh, influencer marketing is is something that you want to do, but it shouldn't be always your primary goal. Okay, um, if you if it's working, I don't dispute what works, but you don't just want to do influencer marketing. If you think that just doing influencer marketing just that's going to solve everything, then no, you, you you're incredibly wrong. So once you have sales, you want to be testing Facebook ads, okay? You want to test again on low budget, $3. Let's say, especially if you're on $200 budget, $3, okay? I normally recommend five. And um, you want the reason is you want to control the traffic more. Using Facebook ads, you control from start to finish. Influencer marketing, you don't have that level of control as much. Not that it doesn't work, but you just don't have it as much. And again, you start on $3 budgets times three, uh, three, three audiences, okay? And that's it. So this is how you would how I would start on a two hundred dollar budget to start getting sales coming through um, in twenty nineteen. It's it's always going to be an option. Um, so that's what you pretty much want to do. Follow this simple guide. I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, guys, for you to use just uh, as reference. I highly recommend going to watch my other videos. Okay. Um, there's so much value there. I can't even begin to, to, to say how much value is there to actually start a business, not just some shitty store, okay? Um, so if you like today's video, guys, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and comment yes down below if you like today's video. I'm trying to make more videos that are geared towards people who are starting out more. I do acknowledge that my uh, channel has been more a bit more advanced, but I'm trying to, to help people more broadly. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG, up close and personal with me. Uh, I really enjoy Instagram um, and, and getting to know people on a more personal basis there as well. Don't forget as well, I have a cheat sheet, okay? 100% 10 winning product cheat sheet down below. There's a link down below. It's yours. You just click the link, it downloads, you're good to go, guys. Do not forget that. That has been hugely popular. You want to jump on it now. Those products are hot and you're going to market those with confidence of, of everything, okay? I pretty much give, give you those products and how to market them, all right, guys? So that's it from today's video. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.